The boxing cosmos is indeed a pretty glamorous one. It has its quirks, but they're just flipperies when contrasted against the perks. Being the winner of multiple world championships in four weight classes, from light middleweight to light heavyweight, and being the first boxer in history to become the undisputed champion at super middleweight, one would wonder how much Canelo Alvarez garners every year. With a net worth of over $140 million as of March 1, 2021, Alvarez is certainly one of the richest athletes in the world, and he knows a thing or two about spending. In this video, we'll look at how Canelo Alvarez spends his millions. McLaren P1 with cars, you wear your status on the road, is the dictum that presently governs celebrities. Is it its iconic status or brand power? It seems if you're a millionaire, you have access to a McLaren P1 in your collection. True to the claim, McLaren P1 boasts an incredible list of celebrity owners, including Elon Musk, Rowan Atkinson, Jay Leno, George Harrison, Ralph Lauren, Nick Mason, the Sultan of Brunei, and others. Canelo Alvarez, too, rightly made it into the list. In 1993, McLaren released its F1, which refashioned the course of the history of personal cars. The legendary F1 earned a cult status among car lovers for its unrivaled engineering marvel. Its gold-plated engine bay undeniably manifested its class and luxury. So when McLaren released its followers, the true trajectory had to be spectacular. P1 assuredly kept its name. Made from a lot of composite materials, it's a hybrid engine, luxurious look, and most importantly, it's fast. Powered by a twin turbocharged engine, McLaren P1 can reach 60 miles in under 2.8 seconds. It has a maximum speed of 217 miles per hour. From design to user experience to fancy names, McLaren P1 can potently pause you looking at it and gawp in wonder. But this is not the only supercar Canelo Alvarez owns. Bugatti Chiron In 2019, Canelo Alvarez joined an exclusive club after splashing out a hulking 2.3 million pounds to buy a Bugatti Chiron. It's not only super expensive, but unique too. There are only 500 of them, and one of them is now owned by Canelo. It takes him to the block of the eminent owners of the car, along with the football supernova Cristiano Ronaldo. In 2019, the Bugatti Chiron earned the record for the fastest road production car globally after recording a speed of 304.77 miles per hour. It takes just two and a half seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and easily reaches a top speed of 261 miles per hour. The car is a carbon fiber tubbed two-seater with a maximum power of 1,479 horsepower and a maximum torque of 1,600 Nm. The Chiron uses an 8.0-liter, 16-cylinder engine in a W configuration. This means it has four banks of four cylinders around a common crankshaft. While the lower two banks have 15 degrees on each side, the upper two banks have 90 degree V between them. There are also four turbos that give the car extra power compared to Bugatti's previous car, Veyron. Overall, gearheads call it the best car ever to come out of Bugatti, and its features have kept up its reputation. San Diego Mansion If you're rich and famous, what you next seek is privacy. And what better way to ensure it than owning a multi-million dollar mansion all by yourself? Canelo is a very private person and always intends to keep his personal life that way. He reportedly owns mansions in his hometown Guadalajara in San Diego. The public's only access to these mansions is through the photos Canelo posts on the internet. Journalist Graham Bensinger managed to give an additional glimpse into Canelo's mansion in Guadalajara when he went over to the boxer's house for an interview. Alvarez bought the mansion seven years back and mildly refashioned it to fit his needs. Graham Bensinger once described it as a mansion full of luxury and collector's cars. During the interview, you can access some glimpses into the gorgeous mansion and see that the entrance is beautified using stones that are in contrast with the chocolate-colored door. The door then opens to a wide stair that'll take you to the upper part of the residence. The mansion boasts amenities like a movie theater and poker table and has a large chandelier in the dining room which amplifies the classy ambiance. 
The house is also decorated with images from iconic fights, belts he has won, and paintings that remind him of his glory days. Canelo also told Graham that he plans to put the estate on the market soon, once the house on the outskirts of Guadalajara finishes construction. We can't wait to see what Canelo has done with that. Wardrobe One thing you'll definitely agree with me on is that Canelo knows how to dress up. I mean, have you ever seen a lousy picture that features Canelo? No, right? Remember the time he attended the official weigh-in ahead of his big fight, wearing a turquoise custom Dolce & Gabbana pajama set? If it were anyone else, we would have thought that was weird. But Canelo taught us some important lessons that day. He can pull off bright colors, and PJs are not essentially for bed, though I should warn you, that only works if your name is Canelo Alvarez. What you saw that day was just the tip of the iceberg. When he's not punching and kicking all the way to the top, Canelo spends his time championing the world of fashion. His collection includes high-end designer brands like Versace, Balenciaga, and Dolce & Gabbana, a panda suit, which he showcased on his flight to Las Vegas for his unification title match against Daniel Jacobs in 2019. The flowery suit he posed with on his fight against British fighter Columb Smith in December 2020 and the double denim in which he posed in front of his twin Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6s, these are the headshots in his wardrobe. From his photos, we can easily infer that his chill and luxurious fashion sense simply suits him. Watches While Canelo's dress collection might be one reason for always looking good, let's not ignore his watches. Well, it appears to be a recurring theme among fighters. Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are two other elite fighters who can brag about their collection similar to Canelo's. First and foremost in Canelo's collection is his Yachtmaster II blue ceramic bezel and a Yachtmaster II in 18 karat yellow gold. It comes with a 44mm oyster case and is one of the largest watches available from the brand. A regatta chronograph with a programmable countdown and mechanical memory, the Yachtmaster II is much more than your normal watch. Rolex Submariner is another one of the Rolex watches Canelo owns. As with the name, it's a diving watch and has a unidirectional rotating diver's bezel marked to keep track of immersion times. The 40mm Oyster case sits on the modern Cerachrome ceramic bezel in rich blue color. 42mm, this full Everose Rose Gold Rolex Sky Dweller is also there in his collection. Other watches in his collection include Patek Philippe 5981R, which costs $180,000. RM2602 Turbillion Evil Eye by Richard Mill and RM055 by Richard Mill are also in his collection. Yacht People certify you as rich when you begin to own a private yacht, and Canelo is definitely rich. He holds a stunning yacht that cost him a humongous $60 million. This gorgeous beauty boasts its own jet skis, a jetty, and a raft. You know something's expensive when it can have its own jetty. In a short video clip posted on social media after his victory over WBO light heavyweight champion Sergei Kovalev, Canelo gave us a quick tour of his yacht. If you haven't seen it already, do it at the earliest, for this yacht is a thing of beauty and joy forever. Private Jet If you followed Canelo on his social media, this will not surprise you. Canelo often takes a private jet to his flights and shares this on social media. While the exact model of this plane remains a mystery, it's estimated to have cost him around $20 million. The aircraft is said to have leather seats, a bedroom, an entertainment system, and a sound system to help him relax. Anyway, you know a guy is rich when he takes his own private jet to wherever he goes. And why shouldn't he? Canelo is winning fights and making big bucks. Pitbull When someone makes a name for his performance in the ring, it's easy to mistake him as a tough cookie, some egotistical narcissist. Well, Canelo has already shown there is a fun, relaxing side to him. His soft side is put to display even more with his prized possession, his pit bull named The Queen. While you might think that's a weird name to give a dog, you might agree with him when you know that the puppy is estimated at $150,000. Canelo got the puppy as a gift from WBC ambassador and pit bull breeder Chico Lopez. Regardless, that is an expensive thing to own.